Hey everybody, this is Nana Spring Chicken. The latest breaking news is that yes, the White House is going to go ahead and have the unions descend upon college campuses to unionize the athletes? Wait, football, basketball? Wait, wait a minute, you can't just have a couple. I guess it's going to be all the athletes for colleges and universities. Um, well, for now, we're going to bring old Kemal with comments on the headlines of today. Well, you want me to step on the other one? Oh, well, you probably will. It's a matter of when, not if. Okay, so next time, just go in back of me. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you get all back of me. Uh, I spent her entire lifetime walking behind her because she's a danger to walk in front of. Yeah. Now I understand why. You thought it was for different reasons. Okay. So anyway, so the college campuses and the, and the unions for the athletes... That sounds like a total disaster. The, uh, it doesn't make any difference. This president, basically, he sick the National Labor Relations Board on all the colleges in the country because mm -hmm. the college players are not getting a fair share of the revenue that the colleges have generated. They'll, you know what happens? Oh, what does Lee Obama say? Uh, some of that money goes to pay for all of those women's sports that they were forced to put in by Title IX. They take the money from the football and basketball program and fund, uh, fund women's sporting events. And they give, they give lots and lots of scholarships to women. Right. And then there, that money also goes for campus improvements. It goes for scholarships for other people that don't have the means of getting into college. And wasn't the reason the athletes aren't supposed to be paid is because they're amateurs? Yeah. And there's, this is college well, no, football. But what happened is football. that... The, that they, they, Obama has decided to make all amateur sports professional. Oh, what else are you going to do? He's going to eliminate you being able to hit anybody in a point. Of, the contact will be up there. It will be nothing but flag football and uh, non-contact baseball under the Obama administration now oh because people are getting hurt. I heard, I heard a guy yesterday. I mean, I, I played football when our helmets were jokes and we didn't have all this padding on. And I was, uh, put, it, put it this way, I was a 245-pound, uh, you know, left out. And left out does not mean like my mother was, oh, you poor person, you're not allowed to play. That was the position I played, was left out. I didn't come into the cuddles because my, we didn't pass the ball. We ran it, and the receiver just ran down the field. But uh, I, if I had hit somebody at 245, I would have done some damage. Well, now they have all the padding, and you know the players. Six two is short for a player now. Oh God, I They're wish. They're like six I, I four wish, and three hundred and some odd yeah, pounds. Then if one of them would have hit me, because I punted also, and if I'd have ever been hit by anybody, you know, I didn't have the padding that they 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 got all the safety helmets now, the safety this, the safety that. But all we had mm -hmm. was just real thin little football helmets like the like you see Johnny Unitas wearing, and no padding, mm -hmm. nothing. Because here's the trick is. We were all faster than they are now. You know why? We didn't carry as much weight. We didn't weight carry. Anymore. What did they weigh? Pay, carry probably twenty pounds of. Yeah. At least. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I'm two forty-five running a receiver running down the field with an extra twenty pounds of weight every. That's running yeah. down and coming back every time. Yeah, twenty an extra twenty pounds of weight. Yeah. And, and the difference is, we were playing both sides. Every person on the team, we didn't have sixty players carried with us, we had like 30 to 40, and everybody did double, Everybody did defense or offense or special teams. Yeah, and the extra 20 pounds of weight for what, two hours, three hours? Two, uh, for three hours, Plus, you're wearing, I mean, and playing both <laughs> sides of the field. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, they're battling last night. You know, they're putting a disunified message up, and then Rand Paul said, no we're not. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm not talking for the Republicans, I'm talking in behalf of the independents in this country that have no voice. And then they, uh, they had the Tea Party response from, he said, well, because what happens is, he said, that the people, that be, the, the majority, of the, the leadership of the Republican Party will simply kiss the back of the president and you won't pay any attention to who elected you. And I'm here to explain that that's not mm -hmm. going to happen. So, well, you can't have this message of disunity. It will destroy the party. And Rand Paul last night said, well, then we're going to have a third party, aren't we? Mm -hmm. That third party is going to be in charge in 216. And President Obama delivers a State of the Union. Oh, God. Okay, and what, what does Flea Obama <laughs> say? Flea says, if you like the health care plan, look forward to, uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, his, his M... Uh, M R A or M whatever it is, he's going to give, he's going to create a government retirement plan that is not based upon the stock market. It's going to be based upon big government. The, mm -hmm. In order to make your stock, in order to make your retirement plan grow, you need a bigger government. 
and that that really flew well last night. With you know, like you can't make mm -hmm. the healthcare system work, but he's going to make a retirement plan system work for every, all the young people. He said, "I want the young people to put in a retirement plan that we know is sound, unlike the R uh, R eight, whatever those things are, the the four twenty mm -hmm. things, and all this, because ours will be government backed, and the government. Well, uh oh, what did he say? He's from Illinois." There's a hundred billion dollars of unfunded government liability to the unions that they can't pay and they're going to have to have all their pensions cut because they can't pay it. Oh, we have military pensions that are guaranteed by law that just have all the pensions cut to people with military disabilities. But you can tell on the government they, you know, they give you retirement benefits. and going to happen. And no evidence that Russia helped Snowden to steal U.S. secrets, Feinstein. Um, my guess is somebody in the administration, somebody that didn't like Obama arranged for this to be done. Someone that didn't like Obama, they didn't like how he's spying on everybody, simply um, giving everything that he needed to turn over to the world. There's, uh, Snowden is nothing but the middleman. He's the guy that basically has no future, no matter, he had no future, he's just a, a, a drone. And somebody above him did it, but somebody in the White House, somebody in Congress, or somebody with one of the one of the technology companies that was fed up with what was going on. But it was done by somebody with a mm -hmm. lot of power to get that much information. And the Amish family forced chemo order violates rights. It does. It violates mm -hmm. their religious right beliefs. The the Obama administration says f you when it comes to any religious beliefs. The government tops religion. Okay. Um, but what we're going to do probably tomorrow is read something called the Declaration of Independence, which virtually no reporter, including Republicans, have ever read. Fox, there's no one on Fox other than Eric Bowling can tell you what's in it, what's in it. But it basically it talks about what's going on in our country right mm -hmm. now. The reason why we um, we split off from the British is that it's basically in the Declaration of Independence, and our president has violated the opening of the Declaration of Independence. When the course of human events it becomes time to, they said he basically uh, follows the sign of a tyrant in the Declaration of Independence. And a firefighter alleges defamation over Asiana crash. He ran over somebody. Oh, wow. uh, when you run over, when you run over and kill somebody you're supposed to be res rescuing, you have um, it's just like um, years ago. I really a long time ago I, when I was playing baseball in little league, the um, the uh, you know, the, my, my baseball coach was the chief, of, the chief of the fire department, the fire chief, and he accidentally backed his, uh, you, know, you know, he was in a hurry, they had to go to a fire. He, they backed the hook and ladder through the, ba the cage behind us, and, uh, and then they said, you know, mm -hmm. they, you know they basically the big headline was, you know, fire chief doesn't know one direction from another and destroys Little League Baseball Diamond. And oh, he basically, mm -hmm. he, he, instead of suing, he said, you know, we screwed up. We did. We did. Thought they had more room than they did, yeah. and they backed right through the thing. But see, you, if you if you kill somebody, that's worse than knocking down a little ba a little league baseball team. Yeah. You have no excuse. Yeah. Well, we didn't see him. Well, you're supposed to see him. That's what you're paid to do. It means oh, they weren't paying attention. Oh gosh. Um, and bipartisan flood insurance bill clears the Senate hurdle. Oh yeah, the bipartisan is it's going to cost you a lot more money than it did before. See, the Democrats wanted to eliminate it entirely. Republicans basically, it's a good one. Where are most of the floods happen in this country? Oh, in states ran by Democrats is where most of the flooding happens. And uh, and so um, Democrats have a tendency to live along the ocean where the better places are, live along the rivers where the better places are. But they wanted to do away with it entirely and have the insurance companies pick up the cost. Well, the Republicans managed to keep it going, but it's going to cost you a lot more. It gets cost prohibitive to buy uh, ins flood insurance now. So. And Angry Birds tech giants can give a glimpse of NSA spying, but not much. Yeah, that's called well, Windows Free Set. He said, yeah, BNS. Basically, it can, it can tell exactly what, what happens is... There's a television set on to the left which can be turned into a mm -hmm. transmitter anytime they want to do it. The camera that this is being walked on, worked on has a GPS system which means they can activate it anytime they want. They can see what's going on. Your cell phones can be turned on, turned around with their double screen thing and they can sit there and watch everything well, you're doing. Because they have front facing and rear facing cameras. Which means they can watch mm -hmm. you, they can watch you from the what you're doing at the same time as you're from something in the front. And they know where you are at every moment what you're saying. So and a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, 
Today, global warming is causing, causing global cooling, which will inadvertently cause global warming, which will cause global cooling, which causes global warming, which causes global... No, makes no sense to anybody, does it?